Hey, it's Paul, let's have a look at some animations within Fuse. This is a very simple example, but it should get you up and running to thinking in the sort of Fuse way of animating things. It's quite easy and let's jump in. So what I wanna do is I have a rectangle that when we click, spins around and changes color. Not too crazy, but a good enough starting point. So let's have a stack panel and we'll put that stack panel in the middle of the screen. So we'll say alignment is equal to center. And inside of that stack panel, we'll have a rectangle. And the name of that rectangle, so we'll say UX name, is equal to rect. And by saying this UX name is equal to rect, that means we can capture this object in other areas within our UX. So we can say rect.fill in other areas, and that will update the fill with that rectangle. So this will make sense in a second when we add a fill. And that fill is going to be a blue. So at the moment we can't see the rectangle and that's because we need to add a width and height. So width is going to be 100 and height is also going to be 100. There is our rectangle. Within Fuse we have different events. So when we click something, when we press something and so on, we're gonna say while pressed. So this is going to happen while we press the rectangle. We're going to hook into rotate and rotate will rotate the rectangle around. We have to give that a target and we can say our target is equal to rect. We want to rotate it by 90 degrees and we can add a duration such as one, so one second. And right now that's all we need to type. If we click our rectangle, we see it starts to rotate. When we let go, it goes back to its initial position. We could add that to 180. And we see that it rotates 180 degrees if we let go of the mouse it goes back to normal. We can also hook into the change event. So change right here, we can say rect.fill, and this will change the color of the rectangle. So essentially all we're doing is saying rect dot, and that gives us access to these properties from within the rectangle. So if I add a purple here, and we click on the rectangle once again, it goes purple as it's going 180 degrees. Quite cool, we can also add a duration to this. 0.5 and we see it doesn't happen instantly but it happens over a 0.5 duration and we could also take this even further we could make another change event and that change will now target the rect dot width and this is where it starts to get a bit crazy so we can put the width equal to 300 and the duration of which maybe one second <laughs> this should be quite funny are you ready and as you can see, our rectangle starts to change shape as it sort of spins around and changes color. So now we have this absurd animation, which actually looks quite cool in a few lines of code. This is one of the powers of Fuse, and I hope that I've inspired you to start adding some animations inside of your Fuse applications. We're gonna look at animations in more detail because it's so easy to create animations within Fuse. But for now, this should serve as a gentle introduction to both while pressed rotate, change, and of course, looking at rectangles. If you'd like to see more Fuse videos, then of course, hit that subscribe button to stay updated. Let me know in the comment section below what you think and what you'd like to see. And until next time, my name is Paul, and I'll see you very soon in the next video.